Most trains pass straight through Enam Beaumont without stopping these days. The surrounding slag heaps are the only visible reminder of the once proud town's coal mining past. The streets tell the story of a community in decline. The for sale signs are everywhere with businesses and families moving out to find jobs and a better future elsewhere. It's natural territory for Marine Le Pen and the National Front as she admitted to Al Jazeera when we caught up with her in the town's café La République. First, because the National Front's voice should be represented in the National Assembly, and it's even better if it's represented by the party's president, but also because it is very symbolic of all the failures of politicians over the years. The bureau chief of the newspaper Voice of the North in the town says Le Pen has been closely watching its political landscape change for the last 10 years, waiting for her opportunity. She realized she had found fertile ground here with all the rotten politicians and the Socialist Party associated with a sort of mafia image. But President Macron's candidate in the town had the powerful backing of his budget minister while out canvassing to try and frustrate Le Pen's ambition. It's not only that she represents the National Front, but also because she's incompetent. Even her father said so. I've been living here for 45 years and suddenly I find myself facing Marine Le Pen, who's been parachuted in from the Paris region. The National Front won nearly 11 million votes in the presidential elections, but since then the party's polling has been dropping dramatically. If Marine Le Pen wins this constituency, she might well find herself sitting alone in the National Assembly. But if President Macron's democratic revolution does not reach into and revive areas like this, the National Front could yet be resurrected in five years' time. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Enam Beaumont.